Hi, I'm Cesar Santos. Today I'm painting the thigh of my figure, the big figure that I've been working on. And I want to share with you a little bit of the process, the, the brush marks of this over layer. This is the last painting stage. This is when everything comes together. And even though we do a piece by piece, we try to harmonize the whole figure at once. And after this, the only thing that will be missing will be my background. And after the background, I would just look at the hole and see if there are some glazing, toning, retouch, things that can build and structure the whole thing better. This is a mixture of lead white and titanium white. This is yellow ochre pale by Winston and Newton. This is a vermilion red made by Zaki here in Florence. Form is what I'm after here. I want to create the sense of volume. I have to arrange it in a way that the thigh has a darker value than the upper body because the upper body is receiving more light as it goes up and here in this area is round so I want to put within this darkness some higher chroma and you see maybe that is even too light so I have to play with intensity putting more yellow more red trying to keep the high chroma colors on the middle of the form and as they go into the shadow they have more of this lower chroma greenish tones. Knowing anatomy can help too. Any knowledge, anything you can add to your toolbox will be useful because then you understand what the form is doing underneath and why is it pulling or, or projecting in areas more than others so it doesn't become a generic image. painting subject matter is something I probably don't completely understand. Nudity is something that has existed forever and I believe my own curiosity about how the body is constructed, how we know inside our clothing each one of us knows that we are naked and we have this private moment uh, when we are alone and nude and this is like a mystery that everybody goes through and as a painter I want to be able to play with pigments to play with a flat area of a canvas and create the sense of volume the sense of illusion of the body how the body is constructed what elements are doing what how the bone structure is holding us with such a beautiful design how the foot is holding our whole body the arches, the intricacy of the double bones. Not because it has been done in the past, it means that it's something outdated that we shouldn't try. On the contrary, if we look at history, most of the periods where we had great inventions and modes to organize ourselves as society is through being open to our bodies, to studying our bodies, to, to accepting our bodies and seeing it as that intricate machine that holds our mind too because our body is connected to our mind and our mind connects us to the subconscious and the mysteries of of life and i think that's a beautiful thing to have in our time we have been ashamed too much of it we have forgotten the body and we try to either go crazy and exploit it or or cover it and be ashamed of it and we go to these extremes. When we look at Greek art or Egyptian art or great civilizations, the Renaissance, we see the importance that the body plays in terms of that development of cultures. In areas around the knee, you will see more warm color. So you'll be more of the reds and it's good to put them there. So then throughout the body, you have variation of cools and warms too. First is that I lay in all the surrounding colors, meaning all the colors around an area. I put them in first and then I render it, then I paint one into the other.
Because of other parts of society that is going more scientifically, more technological, we are becoming more conceptual. Our mind is taking a bigger chunk of our existence. We kind of forgot a little bit of the simplicity. When I see something created in a museum that is such a high quality representation of how some people see others and how to represent them, I want to be part of that in the sense of I want to create a body that feels real, that feels as organized as the real bodies that we have. And to do it with these simple colors and palette, I think it's a really nice experience. We take photos, we copy photos. Even though I'm working from a photographic reference, if we compare point by point the reference and the painting, I changed the reference because I'm more interested in nature, in how we are built, how we move, the beauty of the expression of the pose. keep increasing these reds with caution because I don't want them to break my order values here. I want to see how much red I can put in here because it's easy to make it gray after. If I go too much and it's too much, it's easier to tone them down. But I want to know my limits. And where there is warm colors, there's also cool colors. There's always the effect of greens or blues around these dark areas. And if you didn't see that blog, last week I posted a blog about mixing flesh colors. You can click here the link and go there so you can see how I play with my palette and how I mix up my, my skin colors. The lower leg has been developed more compared to this, but I had to go abandon it, go to sleep, and left that done and this undone. When I come to finish what I need to work on, I make sure I work in between the transition so that there is not like a, a marked distinction between one and the other. In the photograph, I see a lot of information and I want to kind of understand that information, but I want to avoid it too. I want to put as much simplicity as possible and disregard all the things that I see in the photograph because the photograph is about that particular person. But what I'm after is not a particular person, it's an idea. And to have an idea more clear, it has to be universal, it has to be general. So I have to decide what makes a body be both something particular but something that also represents the bigger idea of a body and I'm painting this so I need to decide what to keep and what to take out as I'm painting that's why we should not depend on the photograph to copy it yes it's a flat image it's already there with some color but I'm not copying the colors I'm not copying exactly the values even the drawing all that is interpretation <laughs> Bang,
the GoPro, Valentina is sleeping, but today is my last day and I think by the time she gets up, I'll be done with this painting today. So I'm excited to share with you the last finishing touches. It's been an ongoing process for a whole month, but here I am holding a GoPro on one hand, the brushes in the other hand, and it's gonna probably look like this. <laughs> I want to share a little bit of the last layers because that's when the refining happens. That's when everything comes together. Even if I'm covering the other layers underneath, they still help me define better colors, get better values, adjust the drawing, and it's an ongoing process. And for the figure to have the sense of movement, I guess I have to be moving as well. Even though this could be considered an academic piece because it's a nude, it has been done as an idea before. I walk around the piazzas and I see these huge nudes all around. But that reminds me of a great time, of a great era that we still, in our time, with all these advancements that we are proud of, we still follow molds of their inventions. And it's not a coincidence that so many artists develop with such strength in that period then you can see good periods of art, how it flowers into many, many great ideas.